Well, in just a few short years, Zibby Owens is hosting one of the most successful podcasts in the country. She recently released a new book and also announced a launch of what she hopes to be a revolutionary publishing company. She also happens to be one of New York's very own, and it's tonight's nice change maker. Take a look. Change makers brought to you by Adapt Community Network, empowering people through innovative solutions one person at a time. We change. Like a lot of moms, Zibby Owens was feeling overwhelmed, stressed, and worried that she wasn't spending enough quality time with her four kids. So she decided to write an essay in the Huffington Post about the challenges of motherhood. But she ended up writing several more, and before long, she was considering writing a book. After a couple years, really, my husband, who was, I was about to marry at that time, my second husband, said, you know, you should really write a book of all these essays for moms. And I said, Ugh, moms don't have time to read books. And then I was like, oh, that's so funny. I'll just name that. That'll be the title of my book. But the clever title didn't appeal to publishers, and neither did Zibby's lack of a major following. And it was that rejection that set her on a different path. A girlfriend said, why don't you start a podcast? And this is in the beginning of 2018. And I was like, what's a podcast? I didn't even know. I mean, I'd heard what they were. So I went home and researched different podcasts, and I was like, okay, well, I guess I could do this. I always had loved books, and I thought, well, I'll just use that title for my podcast. So that is how it all began. The Moms Don't Have Time to Read Books podcast launched in March 2018. Every episode features an interview with an author about what's important to them and gives busy readers the backstory to both popular and undiscovered essays and books. Today, the podcast, well, it's been downloaded millions of times. And it's a long list of guests, including big names like singer Alicia Keys, actors Lena Dunham, and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden. As soon as I sat down at my desk, I was like, this is it for me. I love doing these types of interviews. The success of the podcast allowed Zibby to finally become a published author earlier this year. Her newest book, Moms Don't Have Time to Have Kids, was released in November. But she'll be taking an even bigger step starting in 2023 when she launches her own publishing company, Zippy Books. After interviewing about 900 authors and having experience with three publishers myself, I could see what the common issues were in the publishing industry. Also, I didn't think that authors were the rock stars they should be. They weren't treated as well as they should be. They didn't get a seat at the table even in a lot of meetings. And I wanted to flip everything around and make it all about the author and the reader. Zibby Books will publish 12 books a year, one per month. And to reflect the importance of collaboration, the company will have a profit sharing bonus program in which 75% of the profits in a given year will be divided equally among employees of the company and its published authors. Every single person plays a role. You can't point to just the marketing director, or the publicist, or the editor. But everybody plays a crucial role in this team effort of getting a book onto a bookshelf. So if you want to learn more about Zibby, her podcast, her new book, or her publishing company, you can visit our website, pix11.com. Check it all out. And if you know a good change maker in your community, reach out to me on social media anytime at Tamsin Fidel because we love good stories like that. And she has a powerful yes. voice. Yes, she does.